Hi, my name is Kim, and I am sitting here with my American breast eggs. I am getting ready to do the Mother's Day hatch off, which is uh, a hatch off. Uh, I would say it's a chance to come together, um, learn from each other. But we're doing this as part of one of our Facebook groups for the American Breasts group. So in order to save time, I went ahead and I numbered my eggs already. And I numbered my paper and I'm calling this the Mother's Day Hatch. So I have my scale here. This is a new scale. I actually got this at work from work because we get points for doing good things. So this was my treat to myself. And I just wanna make sure that it's at zero. Okay, so this is number one, and I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this, whoops, wrong one. Here, weigh this one, I'm gonna use the grams. All right, so it looks like it's going back and forth, but we'll say 56. Point three, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's kind of bouncing back and forth. 56.3 was on there longer. So we'll go ahead and go with that. And that'll be number one. And then this is number two. <clears throat> if you had the opportunity, um, hmm, I did it again. See, I'm just getting used to this. All right, let me make sure it's going to stay on there. This is as bad as trying to weigh a chicken. <laughs> okay, so number two is 59.57. <clears throat> oh, looky there. It keeps going up and down. Okay, we'll call it 59.8. All right. <clears throat> I was getting ready to say, if you've had the opportunity to watch any videos by Mandolin Royal. She does an excellent video um, to teach you how to choose your eggs. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't be that picky yet because I'm not working with a lot of hens. Um, this one is 57.48. So I'm gonna write that down. Okay, Mama Sita was one of my original hens that I got when I ordered my American breast chickens, or I actually went and picked them up. And I had eight all together. Um, this one is 56.5 and that's number four. So I had eight all together. One of them died, so I don't know what it was. I ended up with four males and three females. Well, um, you know, the, the hard and fast rule is that you don't hatch until they're a year old. Um, ironically, the one I call Mama Sita, she's a year old now. She started sitting on everybody's eggs. She went broody. Um, this was in September, so end of March. Um, April, May, June, July, August, September. So like it's six months old, okay? She decided she's gonna go broody and sit on eggs. And some of them were hers and some of them were the other two hens, so I let her. Um, and she hatched them out, she raised them. And uh, she was a good mama. Um, so out of that, I ended up having three boys, three males and three females. Or no, is it? Yeah, because I think a hawk, a hawk got one of those. A hawk ended up getting two of the three original females, and Mama Sita was the only original one left. So, you know, I have her, and she's a year old, and then I have these other two females that she hatched out in September. So, um, that's where these eggs came from. And I know there's a hard and fast rule, don't hatch before a year. So September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, they're seven months old. 
Um, so this is what I have to work with. Um, I don't usually want to break the rules, but seeing how I was down to one hen, um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, the other two, unfortunately, came to a demise, I had to do something. Um, so these, all these eggs here are from Mama Sita, who was a year old at the end of March, and then the two pullets that I had. Um, oh, that's like 58.29. Okay. <clears throat> and then there's a couple of them in here. I put X's on them, and I'll talk about those in just a minute. But, uh, okay, that's 52.70. All right, that's number eight. You notice they're all different colors too. So, you know, we always say we want the really white ones, but again, you know, if you're just starting out like I am in this adventure and you didn't order like 200 chicks, <laughs> you have to start somewhere. So, you know, I understand that that I need to wait a year. I understand that I want really white eggs. And I'm getting there. Um, already, I'm seeing some of my younger ones start to lay lighter color eggs. Let me show you this. This is, this is from one of my babies. Look how light that is. They... <laughs> the offspring started laying eggs. They were hatched January the 9th, and they started laying eggs when they were 11 weeks old. I had this whole thing filled up um, from these chicks laying these eggs for the past two to three weeks. Um, look how tiny some of them are. But, you know, you can tell, like, some of them are really light in color, which is nice. This one is very light. This one's a little bit darker. But it's, it's something, this one's darker. These are the ones I got today. So, of course, I'm not hatching these. These will go back in here. This whole thing was filled with eggs, and I recently just cooked them all and fed them to the dogs. But, you know, I started thinking, wouldn't those make really nice deviled eggs? Like, that would be a French delicacy, right? You know, I could probably make these deviled eggs and I don't know. What would you pay in France if you were going to go eat American breasts, pullet, deviled eggs that were exquisite like this? You know, would you pay $50 for a plate of deviled eggs? <laughs> What do you think? This is Shiloh. What do you think, Shiloh? Would you like those? All right, well anyway, we're getting distracted. All right, so here's number 11. I hope I don't, uh-oh, it's going off. I hope I don't break any of these as I'm doing this. Okay, what's that? 49.26. Now that's a smaller one. I bet that came from one of my little ones. Oh, I know what I was gonna tell you about the X on the eggs. See that X there? That one was 57.48. That came out of the pen that I had these bullets in. Now, I will tell you that there's a possibility that one of the older hens got in there and laid an egg. But I was pretty sure I had the gate closed. Um, and then number 12 is also an egg with an X on it, which again was in the pullet pen. Um, 53 point, we'll call it 91. I don't know if it's possible for one that young to lay an egg this size. I mean, she might have laid this. 12 weeks old and typically 
most people's American breasts are not laying eggs at all that young. And if they do, this is the size you would expect. Um, like I said, I was 99.9% .9 sure I had the gate closed. Um, I check them every day. I was shocked and surprised to see this because like I said, um, I'm not really sure there was any way for another hen to get in there. But, you know, if it happens again, um, I, I will pay better attention to detail. Not that it matters. Um, let's see here. One number 13. Let's see. 56.67. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just weigh the rest of these out, but I just wanted to do a quick overview um, and let everyone know how things are going here on the farm. I finally came up a name and with a name for my farm. I'm calling it Silva Pastor Farm, and I got the URL for it, which I was really surprised it wasn't taken. So I was really, really happy about that because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to pasture my fields or pastures force my pack there we go force my pastures and pastures my forest so i got some trees here to get started um and of course i have the chickens so i'll be running those over the field i have the mobile uh the chicken mobile and i've been running the chickens over the field with that i'm getting ready to build a new brooder it's going to be huge um, I have a shed that is 14 by 44 feet, so I'll be building lots of chicken pens in there. We went and got lumber today, and we'll be starting on that this week, so that's so exciting. Well, anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to participating in the Mother's Day hatch. Um, you know, I won't be as big or... Uh, productive <laughs> as some of my co-laborers uh, but I did want to participate and join in and learn and I'm excited and you know if anybody's upset because I am entering two pullets in here that are seven months old instead of waiting till they're a year old um, all I have to say is the chickens going on my table not yours so I'll be <laughs> enjoying that <laughs> And at the same time, I am able to learn a lot about uh, particular hatching. In fact, this one, number 19, let's weigh this because this is from one of my seven-month-old pullets. And it's a very white egg. And that's the other thing that I was really excited about is these, these young ones, these seven-month-olds, they're laying lighter eggs. Mama Sita's eggs have always been darker. So that's a 55 point, we'll call it 29. Sometimes it said 30, but we'll call it 29. That's a 55.29 uh, gram egg. And for a seven month old pullet, that's not too shabby. And I love the color. I love that it's very light uh, compared compared to Mama Cita's, and that was number 19, see? I almost messed up the number, that's the pointy end. Okay, um, so that's the other thing, you wanna do these pointy end down, and I'm glad I looked at that, because I did not have that on the pointy end down side. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone's results. Uh, wishing you all a blessed day and take care. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Oh, once I do get this on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe and that like button. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye.